Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and this time out, we're going to take a look at this uh, Monster Smart Neon Lights here. This is uh, what I picked up. So I initially was just doing a video on lighting, um, just because I have my new office here, and I was going to put lighting around the office, and um, I came up against this roadblock. So basically programming these lights into the Monster Smart, Smart app. Uh, which now has turned into a completely different video because there was absolutely nothing online that helped me. And I won't say remotely helped me, just helped me. It gave me some ideas as to what had to be done. Um, so I'm going to go over how to go ahead and get so these will read on your smart, on your smart device. So basically... Um, on your Wi-Fi, and let me bring it up here, and I will show you. Okay, so on your Wi-Fi here, uh, most people have uh, dual Wi-Fi, dual Wi-Fi connections. Dual Wi-Fi, dual Wi-Fi connections. So as if, as you can see here, um, there's a two gig and a five gig. So this is a neighbor's. Uh, um, I'm assuming one of the apartments around here, and so they have dual. Uh, this is mine right here, and I'm singular. So by default, that's five. Uh, that's five. Um, five G, and I'm sure anyone with a smart device knows what all this G shit, uh, all this G shit means. So, what's the problem? All right. In order to pair these lights with your smart device and the Monster app, you have to be on two point four. You can't be on five, or it won't work. So, how the hell do you do that? Well, you kind of have to jump through hoops to do that. So basically you have to, okay, there's a few things. First thing I would recommend is call your provider. All right. If you're on a single, if you're on a single 5G, just call your provider and see if they can do some magic in the background. So you can get both um, a 2G and a 5G. If you can do that, your problem solved. Just go to your 2G uh, connection and then pair your devices. And I'll show how to, I'll show you how to pair them. It's very easy. Uh, that's the easy part. The hard part is if you only have single and you want to pair them, that's where you kind of come into a roadblock. So basically you have to trick your, um, it's not really tricking. I mean, it, you have to go from a five gig to a 2.4 gig connection with your smart device. But at the same time, you have to have this with you uh, in order to pair it. So I went out and I purchased this Diddy. Um, so this is an inverter. So basically it plugs into like a old, um, um, I don't know, ash, uh, not ashtray thing, uh, a lighter, the old lighter holes there, uh, that now they're just used for, for power. Um, I did bring it in. So here it is right here. So this goes to an old um, thingy dingy. The, the name escapes me, but it, you, you've seen them in cars, and the, basically they power your devices, and you, you plug them in. And um, the inverter, as you can see, you can plug in any any products with an AC power adapter, right? Or, um, so in that case, that is the lights that you purchased, right? So you plug this into your car. You got to start your car and then you just plug the lights into them. Okay. And then you have power. And then when you have these and you have your phone together, you can pair them. Okay. Beautiful. You can do that in your house too. But the problem is, right? If you only have a single 5G connection, you can't do it. Oh, that's just exhausting explaining it. I'm tired. I'm not tired now that I explained it. Um, so we have to get to it all this together um, as a 2.4. So like I said, I went out and bought this this particular thing to put in my car. Now I went outside and I went far enough from the router in order to get a 2.4 jig connection. So the way that the 2.4 and 5G work is 5G, very strong signal, as you probably know, with your phones and everything. Everyone wants to be on the 5G network. You know, that's the big thing. We got to get, we're on the 5G network now. 
All right, well, good for you. Uh, very strong signal. It doesn't have as big a range. 2.4, weaker signal, good signal. I mean, right, five, two, you can do the math, right? Uh, it's got a bigger range. So if you walk away from your router in your home or wherever and keep walking, and I will, I will show you on the device, I'll do a screenshot of you. If you keep walking and looking at it, it's going to convert automatically to 2.4. So we'll go from 5G to 2.4. And then that is where you can pair your device. So if you could go outside and you have an outlet outside in a house, I live in an apartment, so I didn't have that luxury. You can um, do that. Great. Fantastic. It's probably going to be a lot easier for you. I actually had to go out and get that converter for my car. I had to go from the parking lot closer to the apartment in order to get a proper connection, a 2.4 G connection. And holy shit, it's a whole fucking song and dance to get this stuff done. But anyways, uh, I figured it out and I was able to pair it. And I'm going to transition from this to um, the video I took on my phone. All right, guys and gals, so I literally had to get in my car and go to the Walmarts. And um, you don't necessarily have to do it this way. This is the way that I did it. Um, and that noise in the background is both my car running and this little thing that I just purchased. So basically, it's an inverter. It uh, fits into your... Let me see if I can... Um, see if you can see that or it's not too dark. So it, it fits into your, um, your power outlet here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, here, let me show you the piece. Oh. So here's the piece that it fits in. <laughs> Gotta line it up with the camera. Uh, here's the piece that it fits into. So you just put it in there. Alright. And then it basically allows you to have AC power and plug in your normal devices and everything. Alright, and then here is... Um, our strip of lights, so you're just gonna plug those in like so, and you do everything that the instruction says. Um, it just it becomes a little song and dance after that um, if you don't have 2.4 gigahertz sec Wi-Fi connection. So it did take me a while, some patience to do this. Um, I was not going to give up until I, I learned how to do it. There was no videos online that actually showed you the process and how to do it. Uh, little bits and pieces. But uh, this is actually the first video I'll pat myself on the shoulder that uh, that I was able to, to show that this works. So I'm going to screenshot my phone. All right, so we're going to bring this up. We'll start with the network and uh, internet connection. Uh, we'll just get into that. I just want to show you that now I am, um, the Wi-Fi is broadcasting from 2.4 gigahertz. And there it is, as you can see, under frequency. Uh, normally, if I was inside, right next to my router or inside the apartment, it would be five gigahertz. But because I walked far enough away, uh, actually outside of my car uh, sitting, it uh, the five gigahertz um, turned to 2.4 because it was out of range of the five gigahertz. So I just wanted to show you that's how that's done. That's how easy it is, too. It's it's not any harder than that. Um, so let me get to the Monster Illumination app. I find it among this mess of, holy crap, look at all these apps. Um, here it is right here. So you can see now that it's on the, the, uh, the lights are now on the app. It has read them. And as you can see, the... Um, that greenish type of tinted button is on on and off, so you can switch them on and off with that. Uh, you also can control the colors through the app. I'm just trying to figure out how I did that before. Um, uh, someplace around here, there is a way to do it. I just have to get you, oh, it's just, this is a timer. So you can set a timer. For your lighting, that's very cool. Uh, let's see, I just have to poke around here a little bit just to see if I can find it. Um, hmm, it's not apparent. So, what's this? 
So who wants to contact my album? Sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. No need to be taking pictures, that's fine. We're all good there. Hmm. It would make sense if there's a separate app that it downloaded. But uh, I'll look anyways here. No, that doesn't make any sense. Well, no. All right, let's go back. All right, we'll bring this back up and... Oh, it's asking for the account name. I'll just put uh, my media helper. I'm not sure how I got into that. Oh, I hit name. All right, that's cool. Save that. And a decade later, it will save. Okay, cool. All right, let's get back into, let me see here. Mm. Hit this icon here and see what happens. Yeah, that's it right there. So hit that white icon. You see it right there, right on the far uh, left there? Hit that. It brings this up. This is where you can control the, the lighting. And this is pretty excellent and cool. I will show you this uh, on the other cam uh, once I get it back upstairs to my desktop computer. And just gives you suggestions for various uh, lighting styles that you can set for the lights. Let's see, what's this? Oh, oh, for audio. Okay, cool. All right, so you can uh, match up the lighting to the audio that's going on. So if you're playing uh, music, the lighting will go along with uh, whatever particular uh, sounds uh, it's it's uh, picking up from whatever audio device or whatever, actually, and from your voice, too, actually. All right, let's head back upstairs, and we will uh, take a look at it through my, my camera up there. Okay, so these are not the original strand. This is a different strand. These are ones that I did not pair. Um, I still have to do these. I just um, put them around my neck just to look wonderful. No, that's not really why I did it, but I just want to show you something. So I'm not sure if you can see it or not, uh, but it says offline because these are not the strand. So I'm going to take these off. And oh. all right, so this is the strand that I that I paired downstairs. So let me plug these in. Okay. So this is the strand that I paired outside. So I still have to go and pair that other. Oh boy, I have to go do it again. Um, but if you can see it this time, uh, you can see that it is uh, online. All right, and then um, so there's that white icon. So white icon you hit, all right, and confirm, and we can go do a bunch of different stuff with it, and we'll go, we'll go colors, all right, do the different color schemes and everything, and brightness, all right. And then it gives you different different options for you can play right through it. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. There's a music one. Um, let's confirm. Let's just bring up some music real quick here. Uh, there you go. That's better. <laughs> Have a dance party, baby. All right. And there we go, babies. We got it. Oh, yeah. And when you talk, it will do it too. Let me turn that off. And go back to. All right, guys and gals, that's how you go about doing it. But. Um... Yeah, I hope you got a lot out of this video. Uh, it took me a while to figure figure all this stuff out. And then there's uh, the on, off. So that's cool. 
All right, guys and girls, I got to go pair the other one. And then once I pair the other one, I'll be doing another video about uh, my setup here and other lighting features and stuff that are coming along. I just, uh, as I said, indicated in the beginning, this really needed to be its own video. Uh, it was turning into that much of a the hassle. It took me a while to figure it out and I couldn't find anything online. So if that helped you, please, please, especially with this video, certainly um, subscribe to the channel. And I uh, took a lot of work on this one and uh, certainly share, like, and uh, hit the belly below the belly. When I say belly, the, the little icon that looks like a bell so you can get updates. And that is it, guys and gals. I will see you soon. Bye.